Agreed. Ready and waiting. It shall be done. What'd you want? Right. Yield. Yes. Bacho, 
Ready and waiting. Very well. Speak. I'm for fight. What you want? It shall be done. Ready and waiting. Of course. Onward. Very well. Forward. It shall be done.
I'm very small. I'm so small that no one can see me. <laughs> Over here. Uncle Oswald says that it's because of air pressure that was on me when I didn't live in the mountains. Isilor says it's just the way I am. Uncle Oswald says that sometimes little girls need to wear ropes so they don't wander off or fall down. Sometimes I fall down. When we fly, I tie the rope to a harness that Uncle Oswald made. It's pretty. It has a big tree. Isilor says it's a magic tree. And something about yawning trees in the mountains. There used to be someone as small as me, but he's gone now. He was a halfling. Agreed. Very well. Ask politely or you die. serve. Yes? Forward. You will suffer! Ow. Suffer greatly! Your body and soul each other's mate. You will suffer! Suffer greatly! Bloody skulls! <laughs> 
victory. <laughs> What do you need? Yes. What? Hmm? Speak your mind. Let me at him! There is none better than I. Your command? I am here. Agreed. Ready and waiting. How can I help? Very well. How can I serve? Very well. Caress yes. you in the abyss. Speak. Is that Usta Speak your mind very well. Your command? It shall be done. Blubbering. What is your Aluve Oost? How can I agreed? Yes? Onward. My cunning is so strong, my savvy grip. While I laugh and chest, you will be forfeit. You will suffer, suffer greatly. Thank you, Mark. 
How can I help? It shall be done. It shall be done. Speak your mind. It shall be done. You're from, of course. I am here very well. The adventurers from Targos. Did my heart not so heavily weigh, I would celebrate your coming. These are grim times, and I do not know if there's anything you can do to help us. I am Isalor of High Moon. The Yanti have been attacking for near a week. When they realized they could not defeat me while the Hearthstone Gem defended me, they started attacking the Great Oak. Not yet but they've cut through at least half a dozen roots, near as thick as a tall man stands. The tree cries out to me, and I can do little to aid it. What's more, I fear they may have found the crossroads. Thousands of years ago, when the great oak was just a divine seed, this plateau in the mountains was covered with trees, plants, and animals for miles. It was an outpost for the Yanti, serpent creatures from a dark time in Faerun's ancient history. The whole world was a jungle. At least that's what the old druids say. And the Yonti, they dreamed of ruling that world. The spot upon which the great oak now sits was, is a gateway, a crossroads to a distant land, to a jungle. A jungle so far south of here, it would take months to journey there by foot. It is a land called Chult, far different from the frozen landscape of the spine of the world. That is the source of all our trouble and salvation. It is the Hearthstone Gem, an artifact of awesome powers. It protects Kaldahar and helps provide our village with warmth. The Aurelites and the Legion despise it and everything it stands for. An insult. Isair and Madei's Legion of the Chimera sent emissaries to the cities of the north to announce their sovereign rule of the spine of the world and their desire for equal commerce. Most of the emissaries were regarded as freaks and madmen. The mayor of Bernshander, though, he sent gifts back to Isair and Madei. A bottle of wine and some pastries, all filled with holy water. 
the mayor's priest of Helm thought it would be amusing to send those gifts after he divined the twins' infernal heritage. His heir did not find it endearing. I know too much. I wish that I knew them only as adversaries. I remember them when they were children. They were raised by Mother Egania in a small hut at the edge of the village. Mother Egania was a priestess of Ilmater, the god of suffering. Thirty years ago, when two demons fought each other in this region of the spine of the world, Egania ventured forth to help those in distress. She went to Dragon's Eye, a volcanic mountain, to rescue villagers from the Yanti and the demon Ixonomai. After a group of adventurers defeated the creature, Mother Egania disappeared. No one knew what had become of her. Egania scoured the spine of the world for both victims and survivors. She buried the victims at Hrothgar's Glen. One dead woman she took pity on, an elf maiden named Ilmadia Bariel. Not even I know why Egania decided to call Ilmadia back from the spirit world. The elf had been a lieutenant in the demon Belifet's army. She was obsessed with rebuilding the Severed Hand, a ruined elven fortress. When Ilmadia was revived, she was heartbroken. Her dreams would never be fulfilled, and she had turned away from the basic moral and ethical values for which elves are admired. It was not until a month later that Ilmadia and Egania made a strange discovery. The elf maiden had a womb filled with life. Egania believed that Ilmadia had been blessed by Ilmater for her turn from evil. She could not have been farther from the truth. Ilmadia gave birth to Cambians, half demon, half elf. Somehow the demon Belhifet had planted a black seed in her womb. Ilmadia saw her son with twisted legs, her daughter with a hideous tail. It was too much for her. Everything. Ilmadia ran from the house and threw herself over the cliff face. Her body was never recovered. She felt responsible for Ilmadia's death, and she took on the burden of raising the children. It was around this time that I arrived in the village and found the villagers killing the Yanti half-breeds that had been born throughout the town. During all of the troubles, the Yanti serving the demon Exonomai had captured and seeded the female villagers of Kaldahar. Nine months after their rescue, the women of Kaldahar began giving birth. The children were all girls, all with black hair, smooth green skin and golden serpent's eyes. The men of Kaldahar were uncontrollable in their anger, terrible in their fury. When the church of Ilmater attempted to intervene, they were run out of town. That's why the church stands empty to this day. The mothers carried their children to the only place that would welcome them. Dragon's Eye. After I arrived in Kaldahar, I found the town in an uproar. The villagers were planning to storm Dragon's Eye to kill the abominations. Their former wives and daughters, sisters and mothers. I dissuaded the villagers from such insanity. It was a year later that I discovered Mother Egania was raising the children in secret at the outskirts of the village. I did not know what to do. They are forged from evil and nothing but evil can come from them. I remember telling her that. Did we make it so? I cannot help but wonder now. Egania believed with all her heart that the Cambians could be good and virtuous creatures. She asked me to name them since I was raised among elves with an elven father. The boy was his heir, the girl Madei. I named them for my parents, my beloved parents. I rue the day I made that mistake. Egania raised the children away from other people teaching them morality in a bottle. She groomed Madei to be a priestess of Ilmater. When old Egania died, that's how the villagers encountered them. Madei was performing burial rites. The villagers assumed the monsters before them had killed the old woman. When the villagers became agitated, Egania's bottle of morality shattered. Isair and Madei's demonic instincts took over. When I arrived, it was a scene of horror. The villagers never stood a chance. 
I tried to contain the twins, but they escaped into the mountains. It wasn't until years later that I learned what had become of them. Isair and Midei lived on the streets of Luskan, scraping together money through intimidation and confidence games. Eventually, the pair tried to dazzle the wrong person. The intended victim was Edgil, a master in the host tower of the Arcane Brotherhood, a group whose members you've already met. Edgil took an interest in the twins for their obvious infernal heritage. He decided to use the twins as servants and killers in exchange for protection and training in the art. The twins proved to be valuable assets to the host tower. Eventually, the Brotherhood used his heir and Medea as emissaries to the Abyssal Plains. After years of service to the host tower, the twins decided to see how they would fare as mercenaries in the Blood War, the eternal battle between the Nine Hells and the Abyss. The twins worked as mercenaries in the Blood War. After meeting their father, Belhifet, they attempted to become powers of their own among the Beatazu, the devilish hierarchy of the Nine Hells. To their dismay, they found they fit in even less among the Beatazu devils than they did in this world. Constantly treated as pawns and frequently manipulated by their father, the twins left the Hells and returned to Faerun. I do not know how they came to live in the Severed Hand, but everything that Egania ever hoped to see become of Isair and Medea died after she passed from this world. His heir is a twisted sorcerer, with as much power as any master of the host tower. Medei, once raised to revere Ilmater, has become a vile priestess of Yaktu's Vim, the hateful bastard son of the Black Lord Bane. Now they seek to establish themselves as a power in the north, with their legion allies dragged from the most immoral and unreasonable dregs of the world's outcasts. You must find where the Yanti have chopped into the Great Oak. At one of those places, you should find a gateway to the jungle of Chult. Go there, and either defeat all of the Yanti, or seal the portal by slaying its guardian. Aye, all crossroads have a guardian, a living creature that serves as its keeper. Who or what the guardian of this crossroads is, I do not know. Its absence is probably the Yanti's doing. Ready and waiting. Very well.
How can I say at once? Yes? Speak your mind at once. Your command? Of course. It shall be done. I am glad to see you in reasonably good health. Tell me, have you sealed the crossroads? once. Yes? Agreed.
agreed. What you want? On it! Forward. I am here. It shall be done. Yes? Faccio, faccio, fere. Manus, potentis, paro. Ready and waiting. How can I help? At once. Onward. What? Sir. Very well. I am here. Very well. Ready and wait. Agreed. Yes. 
You're gonna bleed. My claim is so strong, my savvy. While I laugh, the chest is for you. Let's see what you saw to go! Yes, agreed. Speak your mind at once. Your command, agreed. Your command? Of course, I am here. Can I say very well? Onward. The best. Here I am. Whenever my skills are needed. Yes, agreed. Something done Bacho, right? Bacho, What is your? I'll teach you. Speak your mind. Your command. No. Clue. 
quarter. I am here. There is strength and might in you. Such a shame. Take it to us. Ready and waiting. Ask polite LM Shin be done. serve at once yes Speak your mind very well. God's there is strength and strength. might in you. Tis such a shame. They die too. Command agreed. I am here onward. Ready and waiting. How can I help? How can I serve very well? manner of foul play has caused me such pain. Speak your mind. Ow. You need one. Of course. 
the groove. 